Hey guys, it's Angel here. I have a um, different kind of message for you guys. So I'm just going to get straight to the point. I'm actually really excited about this. So most of you guys know that I am a musician. So God has been calling me back into um, that call. I put music on the back burner and um, because it's in me, it's innate. You know, I still write every so often. I just get the itch where I just can't help it. It's like my soul is just calling me to sit down and write a song, you know. Um, so I do do that at times. Um, but recently, God has been calling me. And it's just something that you can't ignore. The call, it's its loud. And so I'm being obedient. And um, I did write a couple of songs recently. Um, and I do have like a little setup in my place, but it's not a professional setup. I want to go ahead and start working on some more music and putting out an EP. That is my goal. I want to put out an EP. The Lord has already given me the name. The Lord has already given me the title of the EP. It's going to be called Revival. Um, the Lord has pressed it on my spirit that he's really going to use this music. His spirit will translate through these songs and... Um, I had a vision. I had a vision. The Lord spoke to my spirit about um, it causing revivals, you know, so um, I'm believing in that word. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to be a part of it. So moving forward, I have to get in the studio and record these songs. Like I said, I have a setup, but it's not professional. I would never like put these songs on um, Apple or Spotify or anything like that unless they were professionally recorded, mixed and mastered, etc. Um, also, there are like legal aspects to, you know, the beats and the splits as far as publishing and all that stuff goes. It all costs money. So, um... I was sitting on this for some time, but the Lord gave me confirmation that I need to open my mouth. <laughs> Guys, don't judge me. This is something I'm working on. Um, I am I am one of those type of people that, um, I don't know, I just feel like I don't want to water down my messages because they come from Holy Spirit. I don't want to cheapen them. And maybe it's the wrong way to look at it. I just feel like sometimes... You know, when messengers are constantly asking for money and bringing up money, it just kind of like cheapens the word that they just gave. You know, we're supposed to give. That is what God wants us to do. We are actually supposed to do so. But when it's always about money, 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 when you're stopping your message and in the middle of it, you're you're bringing up money. And, you know, when people are caught up in the spirit, you stop and bring up money. I don't like it. It's just something in my spirit that just doesn't it doesn't sit right with me. And I just feel like we really need to handle God better. You know, I feel like um, the body is just not handling him correctly. You know, um, offering is fine. Giving is fine. That is what we are called to do. But like I said, it's just a way to go about it. And you don't have to always bring up, you know, God will lay it on people's heart. You don't have to always bring it up. It's not something that you you have to do to get a blessing. Those are lies. You don't have to pay for anointings. You know, these are, and the Lord led me um, to go ahead and open my mouth and ask my brothers and sisters for help. I created a GoFundMe for this project. I'm excited about doing this. Um, I want to make it big, guys. I have some incentives for those who are willing to donate. Um, I want to make it like a community project, like all of us. I want to include you guys on the process, behind the scenes, go live and show you guys, you know, what I'm doing. And yeah, I'm excited about it. So I started a GoFundMe and if you are interested in supporting this project, I will leave the link below. Um, this is a song that I recently wrote and I'm going to give you guys a snippet. Mind you, this song is not professionally recorded. So <sighs> go light on the judgment. It is not a professionally recorded song. So you probably will hear some echoes. My vocals might not sound as clean and you know etc it's not a professionally recorded song so the songs that i wrote 
Um, I will go into the studio and re-record them. So I like to record them at home. So I just have like, you know, an overview of how I want it to sound, my backgrounds and all that stuff. So when I go in the studio, I know what I'm doing. So, so that's that. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little snippet of what I'm working on and I pray that you like it. I'm excited. You guys will get full access and you guys will be the first to get information on when it is released and um, the process. Like I said, just read the. <clears throat> so if you guys go on the GoFundMe website, I have like an overview of everything, the incentives, um, the cost, how, you know, the time frame, everything. The full vision is on this GoFundMe if you read it through, guys. Um, I thank you in advance. I pray that God gives it back tenfold um, because you are sowing into the calling that God has on my life and what he is trying to do inside of me. Um, and I am and I'm doing this for the Lord and hopes that people will be moved by this EP and um, they will feel his spirit and supernaturally bring healing and cause a revival that is the vision that God gave me so yeah so that's it guys so anyway I love y'all until next time have a great night bye